There's a difference between wanting your soulmate and putting it out into the universe versus putting that intention out into the universe and then every second of every day you're thinking about, oh my God, when am I gonna meet this person? When am I gonna meet this person? There are two different vibrations happening there. One vibration is a vibration of trust. The second vibration is a vibration of anxiety. Now today I wanna to talk to you about the illusion of control. Hey everyone, my name is Sean Akeem and welcome to 3 Minute Mastery. And as always, we are fumbling through life together one lesson at a time. Now, as many of you know, I have the most beautiful dog in the world. She's the greatest dog in the world. Don't even try to deny that. Her name is Sugar and she's 14 human years old. But when I first got her, she was so cute and so adorable that all I wanted to do was snuggle with her and cuddle with her. And I used to go to her bed where she was sleeping and grab her and bring her to the couch and I would hold her so, so tight. And she let me do that with her for the first couple of weeks. But then I started noticing that she started getting really uncomfortable and she would try and squirm her way out. Well, 14 years later, nothing has changed. Every time I go to grab her and bring her on the couch and cuddle with her and hold her, she squirms her way out and she goes back to her bed. But what I've noticed is that when I leave her alone, sometimes she'll come to me on her own and she'll want to be loved. She'll want me to scratch her belly or she'll want me to hug her. And that's when I realized that this whole idea of controlling something or controlling someone or controlling an outcome of a certain situation is fruitless. Control is an illusion. You see, we at times obviously have all these opportunities to create things in our lives and we do certain things because we want a certain outcome. Now there's nothing wrong with taking action to get an outcome. But once we take that action, really at that point, everything else is out of our control. We can put all the intentions out there, but at that point, once the intention is put out there, it's really up to the universe, and it's really up to life to make those things come to fruition. Now, the more that we try to control that situation, the more resistance that we're gonna create in our lives. So, as an example, let's say one of your goals is to meet your soulmate. So you put the intention out there to meet your soulmate and that intention is put out there with all of your you know, heart and all of your soul and there's nothing more in the world that you want than that particular outcome. Well, there's a difference between wanting your soulmate and putting it into the universe and having that intention and then just forgetting about it and trusting and believing that the universe or God is gonna make that happen versus putting that intention out into the universe and then every second of every day you're thinking about, oh my God, when am I gonna meet this person? When am I gonna meet this person? Or every single time you meet someone thinking to yourself, oh my God, this might be it, this might be it. There are two different vibrations happening there. One vibration is a vibration of trust. The second vibration is a vibration of anxiety. So which one of those do you think is gonna yield the better results? Well, obviously the one that's gonna yield the better results is the vibration of trust. The key to getting the best results from all the work that you put out there is to let go. Letting go is the magic formula when it comes to acquiring and manifesting everything that you want in your life. Because when you let go and you put the trust out there, you take away all the resistance that you have within yourself to let that thing come into your life. When you want something so bad and all you can do is think about it every single day, you're putting out a vibration out there of anxiety. So of course, when you have that vibration of anxiety, the thing that you want to manifest is not gonna happen. Usually, in a lot of cases, it's the exact opposite. I have two kids. They're amazing kids. One of them is watching me do this three minute mastery right now. Sometimes when I have guests over though, I want to micromanage every single thing that they do because I want to make sure that they're respectful to my guests and I want to make sure that they don't overwhelm my guests with all their energy that they have. So a lot of times I try to micromanage every single thing that they do and when I'm micromanaging what I want them to do or how I want them to behave and they don't behave the way that I intend them to, what ends up happening? Well, what ends up happening is I start getting frustrated. And that is the exact same thing when it comes to our lives. If we try to micromanage every single thing in our lives and we try to make sure that everything goes a certain path and everything you know, is on the straight and narrow all the time, we're not gonna be ready and we're not gonna be equipped to handle when those things go off the straight and narrow path. Because when those things go off the straight and narrow path, that's when the frustration occurs. So in order to avoid that, we need to let go. And letting go basically means that we need to learn to have trust in the whole process. We are willing to 
go with the flow. We are willing to be that fish in the water that just goes with the current and is not concerned about where it's going or how it's gonna get there. It just goes with the current. And wherever it ends up, it ends up. And once we do that, we end up living healthier, happier, and more enjoyable lives. Thank you so much for listening to what I had to say today. And if you like what I had to say, by all means, share it. And don't forget to go to YouTube and hit that subscribe button. Once again, my name is Sean Akeem, and I haven't told you anything that you already don't know.